everyone. Welcome to your no squat, no lunge, lower body workout. I am Lisa, your personal trainer and faster way coach. And before we get started, I always get asked what's behind me. It is a sauna. So yes, I live in the cold and we definitely need the sauna in the winter time. All right. So we're going to get started today. You will need either a mini band or a booty band and bands. Now, if you don't have any of these perfectly fine, you can do the workout without any equipment at all. I'm also going to recommend a chair. Okay. So go ahead and grab your stuff and we will get started with our warm up. I'm just going to put my equipment here on the floor. All right, let's get started here. Let's just twist it out. So our today, today our focus is lower body, no squats, no lunges to help those of you with knee issues. Just a few more twists here. All right, come back to the middle. I want you to reach one arm up and over and then the other side. So we're just gonna reach right here. One more here. Now, march in place. Our legs are slightly wide. And I just want you to march it out. Now, bring that march in so you have a narrow stance. March here. All right, we're gonna do something called heel digs. Heels on the floor, you're kind of sitting back. It looks like this. Stretching out a little bit of the hamstrings, back of the legs, and calves. For four, three, march in two, one, march here. So now we're just gonna take it side to side. So it just looks like this, simple step touch here. Now we're gonna bring one arm across our chest, one arm across, one arm, one foot behind. Just for four, three, two, one arm up, leg still goes behind. If you don't like this, just march in place, no big deal. Four, three, two, one arm down, leg behind still reaching down. Just trying to get that heart rate up a little bit. Three, two, one, march here, march it out. Heel digs again, heel digs. Hold on the right side, sweep your arms down and up. Sweep down and up. For two, one more here. Switch your legs, sweep down and up. Two more, last one here. Good, all right, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna start with hip and outer thigh. So either booty band or your mini band, you're gonna put it on around your ankles. If you don't have anything, you will just stay with us. Just no, not using any equipment. Okay, I'm gonna use the chair for support and balance. So I'm just holding onto the chair. Belly button is pulled in tight. Hips are tucked to under. We're gonna leg lift this outside leg. Here we go, lift eight, seven. Six, standing leg is working too. For four, three, make sure the toes and knees are facing forward. Last one here, good. Now turn and face your chair, holding onto the chair. Your right leg, the working leg is gonna kick straight back, kick straight back. Four more here, four, three, two, one, good. Turn and face forward, we're gonna do that again. We're on the same leg, same working leg. Here we go, outer thigh leg lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I know I'm feeling that. Turn, face your chair. Um, outer leg is working. Kick it back. Squeeze your glutes. Pull your belly button in for three, two, one. Woo! Good way to start, right? Let's change the chair to the other side. All right, now we've got our other leg to work. So working leg is the other one. So we're not leaning on the chair, standing up nice, straight and tall, belly button in, hips tucked under. Here we go, eight, woo, seven, six, five, it's already burning, four, three, two, one. Turn and face your chair. Leg goes straight back, here we go. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Turn back. Woo! Face me. My legs are on fire right now. I don't know about you guys. Let's do this again out to the side for eight, seven, six, five. Go four, three, two, one. Woo! Turn and face your chair. Last time, here we go. Eight, seven, don't lean on the chair. Five, squeeze your butt. Four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, youchers. Great job. That's a really good way to start. Okay, take your band off. Move your chair off to the side. So we hit glutes, hips, and outer thighs with that one. Second exercise in our combo is going to hit quads. Now, I know a lot of times people think that they can't work the quads if they can't do squats or lunges, but that's not true. We're going to use our band for this. We're going to wrap our band around our knees. Hold on to the band so you're going to want to create a lot of tension here. Come on to your hands and knees. So you're kneeling on your hands and knees. You're holding on to the band with your hands. Tuck your toes under. Push up to downward facing dog. Drive your heels towards the mat. And then bring your knees close to the mat but not touching, okay? It's basically a leg press is what we're doing. So here we go. 15 of them. Woo, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Push those heels down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Woo. Okay. If that is not accessible to you, you can do a leg extension, which will be, will, we will all be doing that next but that's an option for you. Okay, second set, we gotta do these three times, you guys, okay? Really burning up those spots, really getting them strong to help protect those knees, okay? All right, tuck your toes under, push up. Here we go, 15 of these, woo! 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 4, come on, 3, 2, 1, stop, woo, hey, quads are on fire, see, we can get our quads on fire without squats and lunges, woo, 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 all right, last set, 15 reps, you can do this, if you're not using a band, you should still be feeling this, all right, here we go, push those heels down to the floor, let's do this, 15, Woo. Pull your belly button in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, woo, 2, 1. Stop. Holy moly. Nice work, team. Oh my goodness. Legs on fire. Okay, back to the chair we go. Now we need the chair again and your booty band or mini band. Sit on the chair, put your band on above your knees. Okay, so we're gonna go back to hips, outer thighs, glutes. Then we'll do that leg extension just to give the quads a little bit of a break. So you're sitting kind of on the edge of your chair, sitting up nice, straight and tall. All we're gonna do is press our knees out. Okay, so from the side, just pressing out. That's all we're doing, okay? Woo! We've got 15, three sets. Let's do this. Sit up nice, straight, and tall. Roll your shoulders down and back. Let's go. 15. Woo! 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop, okay? Okay, you maybe didn't feel it the first round but you should this round. Here we go. 15, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Woo, it's burning, burning, burning. 
Okay, we have one more set and then we'll go into our leg extensions to do some more quad work. Sitting up nice straight and tall, pull that belly button in. Let's do this. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, woo, 3, 2, 1, stop. Oh yeah, that was good, right? Okay, so with the booty band, I'm gonna place it now below my knees and I'm pressing out to create tension on the band so it stays in place. Now you can slide back a little bit more in your chair or you can stay forward, it's up to you. Holding on to the bottom of my chair or behind my chair, you're gonna lean back slightly and legs come up and down, up and down. Now, if you don't like this movement, you can just hold up until we're all done, okay? So from this side, it looks like this. Up, down, up, down. Really squeeze the legs, top of the, or quads, top of the legs. We're gonna do eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep your band on. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, we got one more time. Actually, sorry, two more times of that. Sit up nice, straight and tall. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Woo! All right, one more. Sit up nice, straight and tall. Let's do this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, yes you can, three, two, one, stop. Nice job, group. All right, go ahead, take that off. Okay, I wanna work a little bit of hamstrings here. We're gonna do some deadlifting with no weights. A couple of different options you can use for equipment. Option one, you can use a mini band. Wrap it around your feet. What you're gonna do is come down, grab the top, and then stand up, okay? Option one. Option two, you can basically do the same thing with the regular bands, handled bands. You'll just stand on them, crisscross them, choke up on them, and then pull up like this, okay? I'm gonna use the mini band for this. So we're gonna do 10. I'm gonna start this way so you can see proper form. It's, um, you're hinging from your hips, okay? So you're pulling your belly button in, Hinge down, stick that booty out, and then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that booty as you stand up, okay? Come down, grab the band if you're using it. Here we go, stand. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Little break here. So you should feel that in your hamstrings and glutes. If you're feeling it in the low back, I want you to focus on pulling that belly button in, squeezing your butt cheeks, and don't use any equipment. Just use body weight until you get the form down correctly. All right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Nice little break. I'm definitely feeling this in my glutes and hamstrings. The other thing is breathing. So inhale on the way down, exhale as you come up, because that's the work. The coming up is the working part. All right, here we go. Grab your band, pull your belly button in. Let's do this. Exhale, 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Whew, nice job. All right, go ahead, take your band off. Should have felt that in the back side. So we're going to come out onto the floor now. You do need your chair. We're going to work some inner thigh work here. So 
As you can see, I have a folding chair. That's all you need. We're going to come into it's called the Copenhagen plank. It's just basically a plank. And all we're going to do is leg lift this top leg. Okay. So some modifications here. You could put your foot back behind here, help you lift up and then leg lift like this. That's fine. Or you can shorten your lever and have your knee on here, lift up, and then just lift your knee up to the chair. That's perfectly fine too. If you don't like this at all, just lay down flat like old school, you know, 1980s, and just do an inner thigh leg lift, old school. They still work too. All right, go ahead, come up. Step five, four, three, two, one. Stop, okay. So we're just gonna switch sides. I'm just gonna switch my chair for you. Let's see. Get your into position. Come on up for five, four, three, two, one. Come down. We're gonna do that again, but we're gonna stay on this side to start. So I'm just gonna move my chair a little bit. Okay. Come on up and let's go five. Four, three, two, one. Come down. We'll switch sides. Let's get into position. Come up for five. Four, three, two, one. A little bit of a break. We're going to stay on this side. One more set. Come up. Let's go five. Four, three, two, one down, switch sides. All right, get into position. Here we go for five, four, three, two, one, stop. Woo, nice job. All right, you can put your chair to the side so it's out of our way. We're gonna go ahead and put our booty band back on and do some work on our hands and knees. Now I'm gonna show modifications first if you can't be on your hands and knees. So if you cannot be on your hands and knees, you are gonna use your chair for support. And you are gonna do fire hydrants to donkey kickbacks with your chair. So your knee is bent, lift out to the side, and then foot to ceiling. You're gonna do exactly what we're doing. You're just doing it standing up. Those of you that can kneel, come to your hands and knees. All right, pull that belly button in nice and tight. We're gonna start with our left leg and we go out to the side and then straight up to the ceiling. So join me here for eight, Woo. seven, six. We've got fire hydrant, donkey kick, four, Three, equal weight in the hands. Two, one, excellent. Okay, that's a lot. Let's go to the other leg. We have two sets of these. Here we go. Fire rider, donkey kick, eight, seven, six, pull that belly button in. Five, four, Three, here's two, and one. Woo! Okay, a little bit of a break. You can move into child's pose, shake it out a little bit. All right, we have our second set. You guys are almost done with your workout for today. One exercise after this left. All right, ready, set, fire hydrants. Here we go. We got eight donkey kicks, seven. Six, five, woo, four, three, two, one, woo, holy moly. Switch to the other side, here we go, eight. You should be feeling this everywhere, seven, woo, six, five, four, how are we doing team? Three, let's go, two, 
Last one, one. Oh my goodness. Okay, sit back, little child's pose if you can. If not, you can sit on your bum, legs can go out straight, kind of shake it out a little bit. Woo! All right, last exercise. Go ahead, lay back. Knees are bent, feet on the floor. We're gonna do 20 of these and then you're all done. Okay, hands by your side. You have your booty band on, we're gonna do a hip bridge. All it is is you lift straight up and straight down. Now, if for whatever reason you can't get down and up on or down to the floor to do this, you can do what we did in the beginning, which was um, band around the legs, you're sitting on a chair and open up the legs. You can go ahead and do that. All right, hands by your side. Here we go. We have 20. Woo! Lift up. Squeeze your booty. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, hold this one up, hold up, hold for 10, hold nine, squeeze your boot, but eight, seven, six, squeeze, five, four, squeeze, three, two, one, release down. Nice job. Woo! Go ahead, pull your knees into your chest. Take your booty hand off. Okay, we're gonna stay here to stretch. So rock a little bit on that low back. Go ahead and place your feet on the floor and then take your right leg in the air, grab behind right thigh and pull towards you. Now, if you need assistance, you can put a towel over your toes and pull that. But just grab onto behind the thigh or the calf, whatever you can reach, pull towards you. You can also roll out your ankle if you like that. So go ahead and cross your right ankle over your left knee. So you can stay here, or if you want to do more, you can bring that left leg up, grab behind left thigh. It's like a supine figure four or pigeon it's called. You can also do this sitting. So just imagine you're sitting on the floor doing the same thing. Hold and breathe. All right, we'll switch to the other side. So both feet come to the floor, left leg up in the air, pull left leg towards you, roll out that angle. And then cross left ankle over right knee. Stay here, or you can pull that right thigh towards you. So you might feel one hip might be tighter than the other, but my left hip is tighter than my right. So it always takes a little bit longer to get into this stretch for me. Just breathe, nice deep breaths in and out. Hold and breathe. And now pull both knees to your chest and then just rock gently again side to side and then rock yourself up. I want you to flip over onto your hands and knees and we'll cat cow the back here. So drop the belly down, look up and then tucking chin to chest round the spine and drop down and round up. Come to neutral spine, tuck your toes under, push the downward facing dog. So you're just pushing your heels down towards the floor, push your chest towards your legs. Nice stretch here in the hamstrings and calves. Now walk your feet towards your hands and then roll up nice and slow. Roll your shoulders at the top. 
Great job. Thank you so much for joining me in this lower body workout that involves no lunges and no squats. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you soon.